ان الحمد لله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم the greatest blessing of jannah are not all the beautiful things or wonderful things inside jannah not the rivers of jannah not the food of jannah not the palace of jannah rather the greatest blessing of jannah is something more than jannah itself Allah says in the Quran لِلَّذِينَ أَحْسَنُوا الْحُسْنَ وَزِيَادَةِ That those who do good shall get Jannah and something even more. So what could there be that is more than Jannah? Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that when the people of Jannah enter into Jannah Allah will ask them O oh my servants, are you happy? And they will say, yes, O oh Allah, we are. And Allah will say, oh, my servants, is there anything more that you want? And the people will say, what more could we want, O oh Allah? You have allowed us to enter into Jannah. What more could we want? And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that Allah will then lift the veil between him and the people of Jannah. And the people of Jannah will get to look at the magnificent face of Allah. And this is the thing that is more than Jannah. Imagine the blessing. Imagine the beauty and amazing feeling when you get to see the face of Allah. And the Quran tells us, but when the people of Jannah see the face of Jannah, their faces will become shining and even more beautiful. And this shows us that looking at the face of Allah is the greatest blessing given to the people of Jannah and the highest pleasure in Jannah. And every person in Jannah will be called forward to have a private conversation with Allah. And no one will be left out. And the scholars mention that the biggest punishment in the hellfire will not be the burning fire, will not be the boiling water of hell, will not be the severity of the heat, rather the biggest punishment in the hellfire will be that the people of hellfire will not get to see the face of their Lord, the face of their Creator. And if you study the names of Allah, this increases your love for Allah and it makes you want to do more good deeds, more voluntary actions as you want to get closer to Allah. Allah mentions in Surah Baqarah that when you spend in charity, do so seeking the face of Allah. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that whoever gives charity seeking the face of Allah and this was their final action and they pass away, they would enter into Jannah. Brothers and sisters, tonight there's a sport special organization here which is very close to my heart. And I can personally vouch for the amazing work that they do, alhamdulillah. They are called the an Nasiha Foundation and they were established 15 years ago to spread Islam around the world. And over the last 15 years, they've benefited over 1.5 million people around the world, alhamdulillah. Just to give you a, f a few examples of the people they benefited. A 64-year-old Christian monk, he took his shahada and accepted Islam at one of the events. And when he was asked after he took his shahada, how do you feel? He said, I feel as though I've been on a long journey and I've finally just come home. SubhanAllah. Another sister who had stage four cancer, lying in a hospital bed, sent a message. She's saying, I'm here in the hospital by myself, lying on this hospital bed and benefiting from the lectures that An Nasiha are sharing online. Another sister sent a message who's a single mother of five children, past drug user. She mentioned how she felt her heart had almost died and how Anasiya helped her revive, revive her Iman and come closer to Allah. So brothers and sisters, any donation you give to Anasiha is not only a 100% donation, because all the people involved are volunteers, but rather it's also an excellent sadaqa jariya opportunity. As you're investing in something that will keep on flowing and continuing to help you and benefit you even after you leave from this dunya. 
And I know, alhamdulillah, you've all been very generous. You've been very generous throughout the blessed month of Ramadan in supporting many good causes. May Allah reward you all. However, tonight, I want you to all do something different, inshallah. I'd like you to, that when you donate tonight, make the intention in your heart that I'm donating, seeking the face of Allah. So inshallah, we are counted amongst those who get ziyada and get to see the face of our Rabb in Jannah. May Allah reward you all. Jazakumullah khair.